disappointed or, or sad well, about it? Well, like, uh, obviously, I'm only happy with any points that we can grab because you never know at the end, you know, like what what points will, you know, like what will be the differentials. But obviously, the way that we battled, the way that our players blocked shot, like played the game, like uh, the way that Elvis played, like, you know, I would have loved to to see them with with a win, whether two points or three points, because I think that they deserve a win. Like they they battle hard, but you know, we played the team basically of. 90, 95% of NHL players, and I thought that we, we played a great game. I'm very proud of our guys. What happened on the bench uh, with two penalties? Yeah, like just miscommunication. Like those, uh, you know, like uh, we have lots of young players, and you know, they just took the, you know, like the, the wrong ones. He always wasn't actually after the game very happy, even to throw away his prize, but uh, is it he okay? Oh, yeah, like hey, we're. We're competitors. We're trying to create expectations for Latvian hockey. So, oh, here comes a time where you say, like, oh, you participate in tournaments. It would be nice to get a shot to to be top eight and only you know, like, try to to go for a medal. So, oh, like those players are, are pushing themselves. Like they they expect excellence out of their games. And like when we lose, like uh, you know, I don't want to see them smile. Only oh, like they. You know, like they're they're proud and they, they want to go. So like hey, Elvis played a great game and you know, like that's who he is. That's why like he always gets his team, you know, like very far in playoffs. You look at what he's doing in Lugano with that team and with us what he did that World Championships last year and what he's doing now. Like he's a great goalie and he's a, you know he's a great fighter. What do you like specifically about his game and what he brings to your team? Elvis, it's his passion. Like I've said it before, he reminds me a lot of Patrick Waugh. Like there's sparks in his eyes. He's very athletic. Uh, he's very quick. Like, uh, plus, he's confident. This game, it's about confidence. You, you need, you need to believe that you can be the best, and that's that's how he feels, and that's why he's playing this way. In third period, you play with three lines. You know, what's the reason? Well, we're trying to win. Uh. No, we're trying to win. They played three lines too. So, like, uh, you know, we. Uh, you know, we're trying to to win games. We want to go to Copenhagen. And also mix the lines, also sometimes. Yeah, but you know, sometimes you have gut feelings. You try some situations. So, you know, okay, we, you know, with Teddy Bluger's back now, you know, it gives us you know some nice options. We have like uh, quite a few of centermen's. So, like, that's yeah, always nice. You you never have enough centermen. So, like, uh, you know, that's why I felt that we match very well against a great hockey team today. Maybe before game in a team meeting, you said anything about Marty Carson that we should play as he plays. You <laughs> always. Yeah, no, we talked about last night, like uh, at the meeting, like such uh, such a big loss for us. And not only we lose a great player, but we lose we lose a leader, we lose a warrior. Like uh, I have so much respect for uh, for Martin's Carsons. I I'd have a young boy playing in uh, hockey in Latvia. I would want him exactly like Martin's Carsons. Like uh, plays up and down, you know, like very solid individual, like good man on the ice, off the ice. Like uh, works hard, great team guy. So like, uh, I'm very sorry for Martins. It's a big loss for us, but I know Martins, considering all the surgeries to his knees and you know like everything, he's made big sacrifice to be here. He really wanted to be here and to see that freak accident, like uh, you know, like makes me very sad. Balinski's goal was the first uh, in the spring from the defenseman. Are you satisfied with that? Yeah, like, hey, we're putting pucks at the net. Like, we, I don't know who hit the post in the third period there. I think it's a defenseman, like, uh, that took the shot. Like, we encourage our D-man to, to shoot some pucks. And, uh, you know, like, this is, teams are so good down low defensively that if you're starting to use your point to, to generate some offense, you should get some good results, and that's what we're trying to do. Few words on Anders Jerin. Maybe uh, he got knocked down pretty hard last game, and today scored a goal. Yeah, no, he, he's another one. Like uh, I met with him last night, and I said, "How do you feel?" And he didn't even answer my question. He just said, "I came here and I, to play." He said, "I didn't come here not to play." So he said, "I'll be there." And you know, like look at the game that he plays. He's a solid man again. Like you know, like he's very close to, to uh, very similar to a uh, Martin Carson. Like. Uh, He's, he's very proud Latvian, wants to play for his national team, and whether he's injured or not, he's going, right? Thank you. Thank you.